Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to Coast, This Week in America. A Journey Through My Life, Enjoying the Journey by Yvonne E. Brown is a fascinating story of a woman who's had a rich and remarkable life. An interesting story of resilience, perseverance, and growth that will undoubtedly inspire readers to reflect on their own lives and the paths they have chosen. Yvonne's book is one of the most captivating memoirs that takes readers on a heartfelt journey through her life. The book offers a unique glimpse into her struggles, joys, and milestones of a woman who's had a full and inspiring life. Yvonne was born in Jamaica from a family of 14 siblings, 13 from the same mother and father who were married for over 65 years. A high school champion in track and field, she represented Jamaica in various track meets abroad and also was on the Jamaica Olympic team in the Munich Olympics in Germany in 1972. A diploma in music and physical education, a Bachelor of Science degree in business administration, Yvonne is a writer, a preacher, a real-life coach who's dedicated her life to helping others find their purpose and live their best lives. A multi-talented author who's written several books, Words to Enhance the Soul, a children's book titled Short Stories, and a powerful memoir, A Journey Through My Life, Enjoying the Journey. And Yvonne E. Brown joins us on This Week in America. Hi, Yvonne. Welcome to the program. A pleasure to have you with us today. Thank you. What are we I'm mar- all excited to be on your program. <laughs> well, I'm excited to have a chance to talk with you. What a remarkable life you've led and writing about it in the book, A Journey Through My Life. Let's start with the inspiration behind the book, A Journey Through My Life. What made it you, motivated you to write this book? What was the inspiration for writing it? I think that my life is interesting and unique. And I wrote my story with the intention of of allowing others to see that they can live a well-disciplined and ordered life and arrive at where they want to be in life. Well, you are a That's great inspiration, he- and all this comes uh, to life in Yvonne's book, A Journey Through My Life, Enjoying the Journey. You'll find the book at Yvonne's website, YvonneBrownBooks.com. We'll give you that throughout the program, and of course, all this information on our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us. I mentioned some of the topics in your life that you discuss. What are some of the, the central themes or messages that you explore in your book? Well... I would describe the central theme or messages explored in my book as to do the right thing, persevere, and never give up. Boy, that's so important, and you have proven that, the ups and the downs that uh, Yvonne shares with with honor, with dignity, totally opens up in the book. That's why this is so relatable in receiving rave reviews. What challenges did you face writing and publishing the book, and how did you overcome those? And I'm sure at times it was difficult to write some of these stories. I did not face any challenges while writing my book because it is my life experience that I wrote about. Um, The the publication, it was my life experience that I wrote about. So I didn't face any challenges. Well, you're very honest in your portrayal of what you went through in your life. The book is a fascinating read, will definitely motivate others, and is doing so all so far. A Journey Through My Life, Enjoying the Journey by Yvonne E. Brown. The book is available at Yvonne's website, YvonneBrownBooks.com. And we've got all this information on our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us. Your book covers various aspects of your life. Could you share maybe a memorable moment or experience that had a significant impact on you and influenced your life and your writing? I think that a memorable moment was when I gave birth to my daughter and recalled what I said when I was about 15 years old, that I would like to give birth when I was 32 years old. And it did happen. (laughs) I did ask God that, to make that possible for me. And it did happen. When I was 32, I gave birth to my daughter. And that has caused me to write about it and to 
I put more my trust in God that God is really real, that he's awesome. So um, that caused me to be who I am and to be trusting, believing God and trusting him more yeah, it's, because that really happened. Well, faith is such a foundation of what Yvonne goes through in her life. The uh, memoir was a journey through my life. Enjoying the journey. Again, you'll find it uh, uh, on sale wherever books are sold. Send you to Yvonne's website, YvonneBrownsBooks.com. BrownBooks.com. That's singular, YvonneBrownBooks.com. All this on our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us. I mentioned resilience, perseverance, growth, all of uh, the different emotions and phases you went through. What do you hope readers take away from reading A Journey Through My Life? What do you want to leave them with when they finish the book? I hope that they will see how I have persevered to reach my goal, how many twists and turns I have been through to finally complete my course in college. I actually have a Master of Science degree in education and became a teacher and teaching until I have retired from it. So and it, then pursue my second goal as a writer, which I had dreamt about from my, when I was a child. I mentioned the several books that you have written. You're, you're writing more, and we'll talk about that as we go through our conversation. But you are a very talented writer. You have this way of, of capturing our attention, drawing us into your story. And we feel we're, we're participants in, in what you're going through. The book is A Journey Through My Life. Ivani Brown is our guest on the program today. Were there any particular authors or books that inspired you as you were writing your own book? Well, I have read many books, and I have admired all the authors of the various books that I have read put their thoughts together in such a coherent way that inspired me to become an author. There are many authors that I, um, I, I've, um, there are books that I have written since I was a child, but I don't want to mention any now, but all of them inspired me. You know, I yes. was really um, inspired by how they put their thoughts together as I'm repeating coherently. And that inspired me really to become an author. Let's talk about the process of writing your memoir. You go back, you go through all of these different uh, stages of your life as uh, you were a young child to, to the Yvonne that, that we have today. How do you approach, how did you approach the process of, of organizing, instructing, instructing, as constructing the, the memoir? I would think that would be a challenge. Did you have a specific plan or method in mind when you started, or was it sort of organic as you began to tell the story? In my memoir, I did not follow a specific method or plan. I developed the narrative organically because it was my life that I've lived. And I've experienced all what I've written. So that's how I did it. I wrote it organically. I, um, I have the ideas in my, um, my head and I arrange it chronologically in my head and then I wrote about it. I did not do jotting or whatever as I was growing up. I just organized it all, um, chronologically in my head and wrote it. The book um, is, is oh, the book is receiving rave reviews. I'll send you to Yvonne's website to get information on this book and the other two books that I mentioned. And we'll talk about that before we conclude our conversation today. Yvonne Brown, the website, YvonneBrownBooks.com. Active on social media. We'll go through some of the, the places you'll be able to find her, follow her, for example, on Facebook, all of that. And again, all that's on a website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us. Your book goes into personal experiences and emotions that you went through. Was it difficult to share such intimate details? And how do you balance being honest and trying to help people along with some privacy for yourself? Well, it was not difficult for me to share my personal experiences and emotions as they were not outlandish. I was setting the stage for readers to emulate my way of life. What I have written is exactly what I have 
done in my life. You... What I've experienced in my life, what I've done, or what I've experienced in my life. It's such a, an easy read, and a read as you're going through it, you're putting yourself in, in Yvonne's position and sort of uh, reassessing where you are, where you came from, where you are today. The book is A Journey Through My Life, Enjoying the Journey. I Talk a little bit about the research in writing the book. How did you ensure accuracy, authenticity in recording past events, the, uh, the track and field that you were involved in, the Munich Olympic Games that you were involved in in 1972? How much research went into this book? I know that God has blessed me with a good memory to recall all the events. I did not conduct any research but knew what has happened. I have experienced it. And I thank God for blessing me with a good memory to recall and to write as I have experienced. It was almost like you were destined to take this message and write a book and to help other people. And you do that in such a, uh, a very honest way and relatable way. Yvonne E. Brown, our guest, the book is A Journey Through My Life. It's a great read, and you'll find it at YvonneBrownBooks.com. That information, you can link on to it by going to our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us. Yvonne, what was the most rewarding part of writing a journey through my life? And I say that maybe that you uncovered some insight, insight about yourself as you were writing this book. Did you feel you, you, you got to know yourself even better by going back and reliving these moments? Well, the most rewarding part is that I've completed a journey through my life. I was surprised to see how my thoughts flow and how coherent the passages are. I was surprised about that. <laughs> well, yes, yes, I can, I can understand that. And it's interesting, I mentioned that, that it's a relatable book. If somebody is, is reading the book and their experiences are, are maybe the life experiences different than yours, they still can relate, can't they? This is a book written for everybody. Yes, yes, it's a book written for everybody. We all um, have those challenges in lives and the ups and the downs that we have to deal with. The circumstances may be slightly different, but we all go through those and to see the resiliency of the Yvonne as she was going through these, these different stages. I mentioned the books that you've written as an author. What are the future aspirations or goals that you have? And uh, any plans for, for more books? Well, my future aspiration is to write more books. I have completed two books which have not been published as yet. And I'm in the process of writing another book, hoping to complete it next year, early next year, God's willing. Also, the idea has come to me to write, I'm ready to write a, another children's book. And I will write more children's books and books for adults and readers of all ages. I have that inspiration. Boy, I'm looking forward to it. The children's book is fine. The aging book I need. So let me know when that book is out and we can uh, we can talk about that as well. This is mm -hmm. uh, uh, so many important things that Yvonne addresses in her book, the memoir, A Journey Through My Life, Enjoying the Journey. The other books that uh, are ready to be published, and you can follow those by going uh, and see when they're published by going to her website, Words to Enhance the Soul and a Children's Book, Short Stories. And you'll find out the progress of those. And you can order A Journey Through My Life or Memoir at our website, YvonneBrownBooks.com. If you could give a piece of advice to, to an aspiring writer out there, what would it be? And I ask you that because you've, you've always wanted to write and you finally were able to successfully write a, a published author receiving rave reviews for your memoir. What advice would you give somebody who was that, in that position you were years ago when you wanted to do this and trying to get started? Well, my advice to aspiring writers would be don't give up on your dream because it helps you to realize your goal and that they should think positively at all times. They should never give up on their dream. 
good advice because sometimes we we self doubt and we talk ourselves out of something we really would like to do. This was something that one of the goals that Yvonne had in her life, one of many that she successfully met, and she was able to to fulfill that with her memoir, A Journey Through My Life. What kind of feedback are you getting, family, friends, people who have read the book? What kind of input are you getting from from the readers of your book? The response that I got from readers are favorable. Some of them were amazed to see how I put my thought together to write my memoir. One of my friends who was a teacher, she said she could not do what I've done because she can only write articles. And she's so amazed to see how I put my thoughts so coherently together. She, you know, so I get yes. favorable review. And and um, one other lady said she loved my book. She reads it all the time. And, you know, I, I really get favorable review from family and friends. Now, and Yvonne's book is now being shared literally with the world, and you can find it at her website, YvonneBrownBooks.com. Book available there, information on that book and the others that Yvonne is working on. This book, A Journey Through My Life, Enjoying the Journey. This is uh, uh, her story, a very powerful and inspirational memoir. Are there any particular sections, chapters maybe in your book that hold a special meaning for you? And uh, if so, could you give us a little background on them? Um, the particular chapter is chapter 38, when I was browsing through the advertisement section of the New York Times and came across job opening for 35 teachers in hard to serve schools in New York City. I let my husband know of my interest, but he was not keen on me going to work in the city. My daughter, Mary Bell, who was 15, chimed in and said, Mom, it is your life, and you <laughs> should do what is best for you. And so I was having second thought, but when my daughter said that, I suddenly got a boost of confidence. I asked if she would go to the city with me. She said, yes. We went, and I got the job as a teacher. And that was a turning point in my life. That's an amazing story. And again, it's relatable because so many of us have dreams. And it's either, as I mentioned before, self-doubt, a little voice in us saying, no, you can't do it. Or a, a spouse or a, a friend, a family member saying that. You had that obstacle and your daughter was able to give you the confidence to, to open up a whole new chapter of your life. And you think about all the people, the students that you were able to, to impact and inspire and motivate because of your desire and the follow-up to get into teaching. It's just a remarkable story, a book full of stories like that, A Journey Through My Life by Yvonne Brown. Several minutes left in the program. I want to go back a little bit and talk about that childhood, growing up with uh, with uh, 14 siblings, a, a very stable relationship with family, it sounds like, with mom and dad together for 65 years. What was that foundation like for you? How important was that foundation in building who Yvonne Brown is today? Very, that foundation was very important because I got stability. My mother and father, they were always there, except when my mother would go to visit her, her brother in Kingston and spend two weeks or so in Kingston. But they were always there, and we have that foundation. And my mother um, was, uh, and parents, they wanted us as my mother would say, they wanted uh, their children to come out better than they have come out because we have more education, um, accessibility, accessibility to education. So they would want us to come out better than them. So we have to go to school every day. And they, um, we had to go to church um, every Sunday. And so our foundation was built on God. And... Um, and that was, we never went to our bed hungry. We never lacked anything. And I think that was good. And they loved us. They never abused us, our, my parents. They were very good parents. And many times I thank God, you know, 
for my parents because they were they were kind and they were loving and I never lacked anything as a child and I wasn't abused. They never abused us. Um that's why when they got hold I treated them well because they were so kind and loving to yes. me and they were my other siblings. And so I had a lovely time growing up. I many times I reflect on my childhood. I laugh about certain things. When I remember certain things when I was growing up, my friends usually come to my home. I was living in a big house and they usually come and my mom would cook and they talk about it. Now they are grown and all when they come, they will be all eat and so forth. We had a lovely time. And on Sundays, we, my friends would visit. I, the yard that I was living in was big and we would play hula hoop and different games. And my childhood was really lovely. Well, it all sounds like lovely. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> and, and so inspirational. I mentioned what you went through, the, the track and field and making the uh, Jamaica uh, Olympic team and being there for a very memorable Olympic in 1972 in, uh, in mm-hmm. Munich. It's such a, a it's, fascinating story. Yes, yes. And I was, um, because I think my background came from, I had to walk about two miles to school. So that my background, my stamina, my strength comes from that. I had to walk two miles to school, to the elementary school and to church. The church was nearby. So that gives me the background. So when I was in elementary school, I was the champion girl for every event. I win every event that I (laughs) um, (laughs) participated in. I jump, the flat races and everything. And in high school, it was the same thing. I was a champion girl. And even in 1970, I was a champion girl. I did high jump, flat races, and so forth. And so I made the Olympic team to Germany in 1972. And I think that's very rewarding for me. I can look back in my life and I did not, and I can't recount, recall any um nobody's perfect but i can't recall anything that i've done that i should be ashamed of or anything like that i always do things to improve myself to make myself better and so forth i i you know so i thank god that i followed you know I, i i read the scripture daily and i followed it and i try to improve on myself all the time so i can't recall of anything that i I've done to be ashamed of or anything like that because I always try to please God well, and sh- myself. <laughs> well, yeah, and I guess that's important to please God and to please yourself so you can end the day and thinking, okay, I did okay today. I was able to help people. And Yvonne is doing that with her insightful memoir, A Journey Through My Life, Enjoying the Journey. Yvonne E. Brown, our guest on the program. Take a second here. I, I, I love the fact you talked about dreams and you say always dream and never stop dreaming. Dreams help you realize your goals in life. Believe in yourself and let your thoughts be positive at all times. That's really guided you through a very meaningful life, hasn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I was always a dreamer from I was um, like 11, 12. I dreamt of becoming a teacher um, and then and, uh, and afterwards a writer. I know that I would have to have the funds in order to become a writer, you know. So I dreamt of becoming that. So I studied hard, went to college, finished up my college and um, became a teacher. And my dream came true and I persevered. And, after becoming a teacher, I was writing while I was studying and teaching. I was writing. So when I uh, retired from teaching, I had my book published. And then I continued with the writing. So my dream came true. You know, yes. that is why I said that always dream. And even though there were some twists and turns in my life, you know, nobody life ever go through so easily. I would not, you know. But so true. when you believe in God, everything works out. When you believe in God. And never God stop. Let everything, and never stop dreaming. No matter what, uh, some obstacle you may face, it never stop dreaming. Well, you're believe in, in yourself. 
and be positive. Never stop dreaming. Just so many great lessons that comes out of Yvonne's memoir. And she's a dreamer and she's a fulfiller. All of these dreams she had with perseverance, uh, she was able to, to accomplish, including now being a successful published author. Her book is A Journey Through My Life, Enjoying the Journey, Yvonne E. Brown. Her website, YvonneBrownBooks.com. You can follow Yvonne on social media. Uh, For example, she's got a YouTube channel. You can follow her on Facebook, TikTok, and we've got all the links for for all those particular uh, social media outlets on our website, ThisWeekInAmerica.us, the description for today's program. So you'll be able to find that, and you'll be able to follow her there as well. And I would like to thank Best Book Media for arranging our conversation today, book marketing and uh, promotion powered by Best Book Media, your book media designer, working with Yvonne in, in publication and promoting her books. Yvonne, that time has gone by too quickly. A pleasure having you on the program today. Thank you so much for being with us and sharing your remarkable life story. It's been a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. I've, I've been so glad that you could have me. Well, I'm, I... I really- <laughs> loved having you share the all of the experiences and again uh, uh, never stop dreaming be positive all of the messages you'll find uplifting in the book by Yvonne a journey through my life enjoying the journey her website again yvonnebrownbooks.com and all this on our website thisweekinamerica.us and we're back on today's program right after these messages This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again, thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.